Hello guys, welcome back to a new quick video which is a little bit different here we are in this beautiful place and this video is about four things you should know when you start learning Android development and so let's get started First thing is you need Java to learn Kotlin which is completely a myth so beginners often struggle to start with Java or Kotlin and it's important to know that Kotlin is the preferred language for Android developments right now there's no such thing like you can't learn Kotlin without Java you can just start learning Kotlin entirely and start building apps with it you may need Java later for example when a client sends you a code base that is written in Java and they ask you to solve a bug so you need to understand Java to read that Java code and find the bug and solve it in Java this is the only reason you might need Java so even if they for example ask you to add a new feature then you can just add it in Kotlin so Kotlin is more than just enough for Android development and now let's go to the second thing which is you need data structures and algorithms to build Android app which is again a completely wrong thing you don't need to dive deep into complex algorithms and data structures and spend weeks or months learning them just for Android development and as a beginner of Android development focused on building real projects instead of doing that and I personally never had to write an algorithm or a data structure for my Android apps I'm always just fine with lists and hash maps that are in Kotlin language but still actually understanding how for example a binary search or a linked list work and writing those in code will actually increase your logical thinking and problem solving skills so they are not important but they will help you at problem solving skills and increase your logical thinking and now the third thing is I will figure it out on my own which is actually a debatable thing it's good to solve problems and find solutions by yourself but most often beginners don't have the expertise to know if a solution they found is is good and readable or not or even have the expertise to tell if they have a mistake in their app especially when it comes to structuring or handling states or databases so sometimes you actually need to consult follow developers or your monitor to help you spot mistakes and trust me you can save a lot of time that you can use on doing other things because with an experienced developer helping you you can grow 10 times faster than just solving problems and writing code on your own and it's good to solve problems by your own but is the solution you found scalable and readable to other developers or not that's where the expertise of a monitor comes into play because they will help you in spotting mistakes and help you fix them and sometimes you even don't know about those mistakes and the last thing is watching and not building what I told you is so helpful but it's a mistake to only watch them and not building start building projects as you learn because practical application is the key on getting hands into experience and making your learning more effective and efficient because a tutorial will only give you an overview of a specific technology or a concept but to really learn and stand out you need to learn a project with a technology and a concept you watch the tutorial on and also with that you'll be able to use multiple technologies in one solid app for example getting some data in an API and caching it in a local database and here we have two different technologies which are let's say retrofit and room database and building a small project with these two is what makes you understand how they work individually and together and that's also what makes you a better developer and here are four things you should be careful about when you start Android development and actually this is it for this video in this gorgeous view so see you in another video and bye